Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, October 7th, 2010. This morning I wanted to take kind of a starter look at Seaside 3.0 using VisualWorks, and the same thing would apply if we were using Object Studio. To get started, you want to open the Parcel Manager up, and you want to go down here to Web Development. It's not in its own category anymore. And the thing you want to load first is Seaside-All. This will load in the entire Seaside system and give you everything you need to get started. Now, if with starting Seaside, you want to look at the canonical counter example, you might think you want to load Seaside examples all. I'm going to caution you, at least in this release of Syncom Smalltalk, you don't want to do that. It yields a broken examples page. The base page for Seaside doesn't render because there's a class that doesn't get loaded. So what we're going to do is go into directories instead. We're going to scroll down to Seaside, down here. And what we're going to do is pick under the S's, we're going to scroll down and we're going to pick Seaside Examples and we're just going to pick that. Instead of Examples All, we're going to pick just the simple example so that we get WA Counter in here. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and browse class named WA Counter. And so the reason this is useful is that it's a small example, easily explainable, and you can see small changes that have been made between Seaside 2.8, the previous release, and Seaside 3.0, the current release. So you go to the class side, go to initialize, and you'll see that this is how things work now. Register application at, you know, self as application at handler name, and handler name is just a method here that gives the string, so you could just stick that string directly in that previous call. So that's how you register applications now, as opposed to the way it used to be done in 2.8. There are some other changes that aren't going to enter into this application. If we go to the render content on method, which is still the way you enter in and render on the canvas, you see that this code looks exactly like it always did. We have our callback for increase, our callback for decrease. We have the methods that look just like callback methods for any regular buttons in a GUI application. The only other difference I want to point out to you is that in the previous release with VisualWorks, when you loaded Seaside, the server started up. It's not there yet. You go Seaside, start server, now you can go ahead and browse. So let me bring Chrome into the view a little bit. And now what I'll do is I'll go Seaside, open browser on server. And there you see the tab opened up. And there I have examples. And there I have counter. So I can go straight to that. And it works the same way it always did. So if you want to get started with Seaside and you just want to look at something like the counter example, those are kind of the steps you have to go through now in Seaside 3, as opposed to what you had to do in Seaside 2.8. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.